Hi there, thanks for joining us for today's video. Please make sure that you click subscribe to keep up to date with all of our content. This will include short how-to videos, webinars, and demonstrations of all of our products. Check out the links in the description below to check out any content related to today's video, and we hope that you enjoy it. Hi there, this is Alice from Tove Dynavox UK. Um, so today we're gonna to be looking at the Access um, IT. So um, what is the Access IT? So essentially, um, it is um, a USB dongle. And what it allows us to do is um, basically give us control to um, any um, device via Snap Core First. So um, what it will do is you basically plug in the dongle into a laptop, a smart TV, an interactive whiteboard, um, and it'll connect via YouTube. And the Snap Core First will send keystrokes and mouse moves um, to another device. Um, and what this will allow us to do is use any um, access um, method uh, to control that device. So, for example, I might be using an iSeries and I want to uh, control a laptop um, to maybe create a, a Word document or um, engage in um, a specific app. So, um, the dongle itself is £75. It's a one-off payment. Um, and the great thing about it is it's plug and go. So no need for um, X, um, software to be installed on computers. Um, it's literally you plug it into the device that you want. Snap Core First recognizes it via Bluetooth and away you go. So a really nice, simple tool. So the idea is that we want to um, encourage access as much as possible. So whether it's access to computers um, in a workplace or in an educational setting, whether it's um, access to something like an interactive whiteboard or maybe our mobile phones. So it's really kind of opening up those opportunities and kind of beyond um, just communication and using um, our Snap Core First um, app uh, to be able to have access to other devices. So how do we use it? So within Snap Core First, um, if we go into the dashboard on our toolbar, you will see a button for Access IT. And you will see within there that we've got some ready-made page sets for some popular kind of applications that um, tend to be used via the Access IT. So we've got pages of things like YouTube, uh, Facebook, WhatsApp, um, and Windows applications. Or, of course, we can use um, our uh, just mouse page set, which will just allow us to control the mouse and therefore do anything um, on that computer that we can do with a normal mouse. So let's say um, we want to uh, write uh, a sentence. So let's say we're doing um, a piece of writing um, and our teacher's asked us to compose something um, and we want to document that on the computer. I can use my Snap Call First vocabulary that I'm really familiar with um, to compose my message. And then I can hit the share button that's on that top bar and um, press uh, the access IT and it will send um, that stroke over to the computer that we're controlling. We also have these ready-made pages that allow us to control the mouse. So it allows us to um, say where we want the mouse to move, how we want it to move, where we want it to move a little bit, um, a big jump, a medium jump. Um, we've also got this really nice feature of a continuous mouse. So if my mouse is at one side of the screen and I want to get it all over, all the way over to the other side of the screen, instead of having to click on large jump over and over again, I can click on continuous mode and it's gonna keep moving until I tell it to stop. And of course, we've got the, the different click functions like uh, double click and right click. Um, and of course, we can use this to um, basically control anything. So we can link things like a web browser. Um, uh, and we can access some of our favorite pages. So um, lots of different ways that we can use uh, Access IT to control our devices. So I'm going to show you how this works. Um, so I've got a video that's going to demonstrate uh, this in use. Um, so for reference, on the right hand side, we've got a screen um, shot of um, uh, an eye series being used um, using eye gaze um, uh, as an access method on Snap Call First. And on the left hand side, you will see um, the computer that we are going to be controlling. So we've got the computer on the left hand side. So using eye gaze, 
and we've gone to dashboard access IT and now we are going to launch uh, Word for Windows. Press the launch button and that's going to send a keystroke to the computer and we are going to first of all click the dongle into the device. It's automatically recognised that and then it's sent that signal over to the computer to say open up Word. You're going to use the enter button to start a new page and now we're going to um, we want to maximize this page so the cursor is on the left hand side of the page and we want to move it over so we're using that continuous click and it's going to just move the mouse until we tell it to stop and then we're going to use um, these controls um, to move our mouse and uh, to make it more accurate so we want to move it up a little bit and move it up and across get the mouse in the right position and then we can click and select. And now we've maximized that. So now we're going to go into core words and we're going to compose um, a sentence. So using that vocabulary that we know so well, that we've been using um, and that is familiar to us, we're going to compose that sentence and it's going to go up into the message window. And once I've completed that, I'm going to go over to the share button. Select Access IT and Share. And now that is sending that over to that Word document in the computer. And you can see it's open. So that's just kind of one way um, of which we can use it. But it shows you some of the kind of nice features that allow us to control that computer. So what are the different ways we can use it? Why is it such a powerful tool? So I wanted to think a little bit about... Um, access to the curriculum so whether we're in a classroom um, in a college um, how can this kind of help us um, and our students um, access and engage in the curriculum um, within their classroom so it might be that um, we this student um, has been set a task on the computer by their teacher but they can't access that computer um, with let's say eye gaze and um, so they're going to plug the dongle into the computer and use snap call first to then control that computer to access an activity um, that has been set for them maybe we want to um, give them access to the interactive whiteboard so this is something that's used um, lots and lots within classrooms um, these days um, if we've got a familiar scene of you know lots of students sitting around a whiteboard um, and kind of engaging with the activities and coming up and taking turns and so this will allow our students to um, engage with that we may want to have multiple students accessing the whiteboard as well so we might have several students that need um, access to it and um, this will require separate dongles um, for each of those uh, devices but um, as long as you've got the, the USBs to be able to plug them into, um, you'll be able to have several children um, or several people accessing that interactive whiteboard via snap call first. And of course, finally, um, what we're doing is we're allowing them to use their um, the vocabulary, their AAC system that is already familiar to them, that they're already able to use um, and take that kind of beyond um, just the basics of communication and actually being able to apply it um, in different ways. So what's another way that we can use this? So another great um, example of using the Access IT is um, giving access um, to an iPad. So uh, let's say um, giving um, access using an iPad, sorry. So let's say we um, have an iPad, we can put Snap Call first on it. Um, it's uh, just under £50 in the App Store. And let's say um, we want to uh, be able to control our TV, um, but we don't have um, a device that's got environmental controls on it. Um, so what we can do is we can plug our USB dongle into, um, let's say, our smart TV, and then instantly we can um, access things like uh, Netflix and YouTube and any of those apps available using that kind of um, mouse movement um, and selections within the iPad. So again, um, a really nice way of kind of thinking outside the box and allowing um, kind of environmental controls. Another great way of using it is um, to access our mobile phone. So let's say um, we want to be able to control our mobile phone um, using our device um, to make phone calls or maybe to send text messages um, we can um, do that using the Access IT 
um, again, um, we can make sure that we've got uh, a page that has um, lots of functions in there that will allow us to um, essentially access a phone like anybody else can. So we can use that mouse to open up an app, um, to send a WhatsApp to our friends, to watch a video on YouTube. Um, and we can do some quite neat things as well. So we can actually send um, a, a signal that will allow us to unlock our phone. So um, you can press, um, you can select a, an enter pin or password button, set that up. And what it will do is when you hit that button, it will unlock your phone for you so that you can then go ahead and access it. So another really great way um, of using Access IT um, to, to engage in, in some of our other devices uh, that we just use um, in everyday life. So how do we ac uh, get the Access IT? So we can go to our website um, and you can purchase it directly on there. Um, as I said, it's £75 uh, plus VAT. Um, and we will put a link in the description so that you can um, um, go ahead and, and take a look at that. So that was everything for today. I hope you found this useful um, and I look forward to um, seeing how, what you do with your access IT.